Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. This time we will be heading to the Citadel and fighting Cerberus. I will be showing more Engineer Insanity gameplay and more Crawl Spike Thrower and Phalanx gameplay. Though I will be finding a couple new weapons, so I won't be showing those for too long. So just showing my loadout, my party, and in a second my skills. Just keeping you guys up to date with that. To still have yet to remember to switch Garrus over to a sniper rifle to see how effective that is. Probably never going to remember. A bit unfortunate, but what can you do? So, the Grawl Spike Thrower, yes, it is a tremendously good weapon. In this playthrough, in this video, it was still, yes, a tremendously powerful weapon. One issue I had was right here... I am trying to decide. I'm charging up a shot, but then I realize, wait, I should be sabotaging this thing, so I'm just kind of pausing. I don't want to waste the shot, but I don't want to, you know, and whatever. And then I realize, oh, I can actually still cast abilities even when I have a shot charged, so something to keep in mind if you guys don't realize that. Still extremely rare that I get the opportunity to sabotage anything, any sort of mechanical construct, but then again... Maybe you can sabotage Reaper enemies, and I just don't realize it. I will be trying that later. Assuming I remember, but I usually forget these things. So so here we, you're using the Phalanx, trying to get headshots. As you can see, the Phalanx, even at level 1, does pretty respectable damage and has practically no recoil whatsoever. So extremely accurate at long ranges, even if it doesn't pack the punch of, say, a sniper rifle. But it has a solid clip, it's even good at short ranges, and I, I like it. It's probably my favorite pistol so far. Though it isn't anything extraordinary, it does get the job done. So here I'm just sending out drones to flank people. I'm kind of not sure what I want my strategy to be. I'm flanking left, because normally I would be closing with a shotgun or, or sniping, but now I have the Grawl spike thrower and that's kind of like a, it, it is a lot like a sniper rifle it's essentially a sniper rifle without a scope that you can charge up the shots and the thing is absolutely devastating even when it's not fully charged throwing out a sentry there to flank those guys I am sentry is starting to grow on me I do like it it is more powerful than I expected it would be and it is a better distraction than I expected it would be and just the freaking knockback on the Grawl spike thrower is just crazy this weapon Definitely my favorite weapon in the game so far. Getting a little too aggressive there. I would say my top three so far are the GST, the Chakram Launcher, and either the Valiant or the Viper. I'm still not totally sure on that. And my favorite pistol would have to be the Phalanx. Though maybe I should try out the Eagle a bit more since I didn't give it too much of a chance, but we shall see. I believe I... One thing to keep in mind when you are tossing those sentries is they do bounce and you can throw them into pits. I mean, it's a grenade. So, and I believe I just threw mine into the pit behind those guys. Also, one thing I dislike about the GST is just the fact that when you're charging a shot, you can't cancel a charge, which can be frustrating when you want to conserve ammo. One of its limitations is it's very small reserve ammo and it has three chambered rounds so kind of unfortunate but I guess that's one of its limitations I kind of wish you could just hit reload when you had a shot charge where it would cancel the charge but this thing is amazing it easily one shots enemies certainly just red bar enemies when it with a full charge at basically any range I did not have the wherewithal to use it on these guardian guys I kind of just wanted to kill them with my phalanx and get headshots through their slit, which proved to be very effective, but I really would like to know what happens when you shoot a Grawl Spike Thrower into one of those guys' shields, if it will just go through or what. So I'll have to remember to do that next time, but I whipped out the pistol. Gotta love that Phalanx. Quite an effective weapon at mid-ranges. Even long ranges. The thing has no recoil. It's very easy. I would say it has even less recoil than, than the Faiston assault rifle, and that's saying something, especially considering the face then is a fully automatic weapon and the phalanx is a semi-automatic we uh, automatic weapon. So yes, it has even less recoil than the face then. And this was just amusing. What? Bloop. <laughs> just over and over again. Yeah, these last ones didn't get one shot for some reason. 
You'd think when they saw the corpses on the ledge below, they would think, hmm, maybe this isn't such a good idea. Also, I believe it's pronounced Faistin. I suppose it could be pronounced Feastin. Like A-E-G-I-S, Aegis, that's pronounced Aegis, not Aegis. Or D-A-E-M-O-N is pronounced Demon, not Daemon. So maybe it's Feastin, but I'm going to pronounce it Faistin, because Feastin sounds ridiculous. This one got it in the back of the head. Inside job. Again, this was an extremely fun level, a great mission, a great sequence, both in plot and gameplay. Definitely A+, plus in my opinion. Another more open level, gave you a lot of opportunities to flank and strafe and, and other good stuff. I was adjusting my mouse there, apologies. Oh, that was actually a Guardian. Well, it can one-shot Guardians in the back. <laughs> Maybe not through the shield. And I don't think you guys heard, but they said something on the lines of, He's here! Arr! I was hoping to wait for them to close. And here he is. I think I missed, unfortunately. I will be finding two new weapons in this level, though I will only be using one of them because I made a mistake. I accidentally didn't equip the other weapon that I found, so... And in a bit, we will be, in a little bit later in the video, we won't be using the GST, the Grawl Spike Thrower, any longer. I'm going to try to start calling the Grawl Spike Thrower the GST because Grawl Spike Thrower takes quite a while to say. That, look how much damage that just did to that sentry. One shot, one fully charged shot, and maybe an incinerate or a carnage. Or maybe it was just one fully charged shot, took out all the armor on that sentry. Extremely powerful weapon. Again, borderline overpowered. Absolutely borderline overpowered. Its biggest weak weakness is its small clip, but as long as you're on a level with fairly abundant ammo, it's really not an issue. I'm at full ammo right now. Room to room, didn't they? And this thing one-shots most anything. If you take out their defenses, they're going to get one-shot by it on a full charge. It's extremely accurate. And here we go. Here's our first new weapon, the Revenant. The Revenant was one of my favorite weapons in Mass Effect 2. So I immediately thought, okay, we got to try this out in Mass Effect 3. Especially considering I'm an engineer and you could not use the Revenant as an engineer in the previous game. So I'm just comparing it to the other weapons. It's lighter than I thought it would be. It's, it's it's quite heavy still, but it's not it's not as heavy as the Claymore, and I suspected it would be pretty close. It is a light machine gun. Light being a misnomer. Think of light machine gun more as a, just a step just below a minigun. So I'm getting rid of the Phalanx, trying out the Revenant. High capacity, high fire rate. Not great damage, but it... It's a it's a light machine gun. It fires extremely fast, extremely inaccurate. I actually tested it out in the shooting range after this mission, and this thing is so incredibly inaccurate at long range, even in bursts. If you're attempting to use this at long range, like, say, sniper range, and even if you use control bursts and you have good aim, you'll maybe hit the target three times in maybe four bursts. So it's extremely inaccurate. I prefer to use it very up close and personal, so I was trying to determine, am I going to kill this guy with the Grawl? I actually right now wanted to close with him, and I wanted to try just meleeing him with the GST to see if it would use the Blade Spike. And I'm not sure if it did or not, but it wound, I think it, after, on the third hit of a melee combo, it automatically uses heavy melee. So, not sure about that. I'll be dumping the melee spike after this mission. Or actually, I think I dump it in the mission when I find a weapons table, which I think is right there on my left. Also, something I have not mentioned, but the combat engineers, that combat engineer I just killed, their turrets, once their shield is down, you can target their turrets if they're still on their back, and it will explode and instantly kill them. Similar to how you could target pyros in Mass Effect 2 with incinerate or overload, and it would instantly kill them once their armor was down. It would detonate their, their packs. Or you can just target them with your gun and shoot them and it'll explode and kill them. So yes, I find the Hornet, which seems to be a three-shot burst SMG. I wanted to try it out, but I think I accidentally equipped the Tempest, which I realize a bit later. 
Right here, yes. I'm like, that definitely does not look like the Hornet. And it's definitely not firing a three-shot burst. And it does very little damage at long range, so I'm thinking this is the Tempest or the Hurricane. Probably the Tempest, so that was a mistake on my part. Once I realize it, I will stop using it and just use the Revenant for the rest of the mission. So if you were ever curious to see as to how an engineer operates with the Revenant, this video will demonstrate it thusly. And it is effective. It's an effective weapon. It is very spray and pray and very inaccurate, but if you have control, you can use it pretty well. It is. It does definitely suffer without having an ammo power. It does far less damage than it could. But as you can see, it just mowed that guy down. So he was only at half-life, and I think I got one headshot in there. Also, there was a locked door that I did not have access to that said something along the lines of there was a... I could see through a window that there was a Talon weapon in there, and I don't know what the Talon does. I think the Talon might be a sniper rifle. I think. I don't remember. You can check that on the Mass Effect wiki. And I did not find a way to open the door, so if anybody knows, if I have to come back here later. I hope I didn't just miss out on the Talon. That would be rather unfortunate. To get another Cerberus combat where I'm locked inside a box, if you remember long ago. On Mars, we had a combat very similar to this, giving them lots of cover, giving me not so much, and just being stuck in an extremely small area. I could have tried to push out of this area, but I did feel fairly safe in here, and they were coming to me, so it wasn't too much of an issue. In our next video, we will be encountering a new enemy type that proved quite difficult for me to face. I had never actually faced it before, so stay tuned for that. It's got a combined arms achievement. yippity do. Again, one of my biggest failures is when I find new weapons, I tend to just want to use the weapon. I'm forgetting to use powers, I'm forgetting to use team powers, I just want to try out the Revenant. But that's the end, guys, so thanks for watching, and have a good one.